morning, everyone, and welcome to MCA's Morning Announcements. I'm Cannon Baller. And I'm your boy, Jumpstart. We want to welcome you today and say thank you for tuning in. We hope you enjoy. Just a reminder, there's an Origami Art Club this week Wednesday during catch time. Bring a snack or treat to share with the group. See Alyssa, Blake, and Ethan for updates. Attention all seniors, please listen up. We will have a 15-minute mandatory senior meeting this Thursday prior to your departure for off-campus lunch. Attendance will be taken and the meeting will begin when every senior is present. Seniors who do not arrive on time will be keeping their classmates from going to off-campus lunch. So don't be late. Seniors not in attendance will lose four weeks of off-campus lunch. The message, be there or be square. The paperwork for Spring Adventures Club trip has been published. Students who are interested in the base camping trip, please see Mrs. Thill for details. And students who are interested in the backpacking trip can pick up paperwork from Mr. Ford's office. For those who have been on recent participants on one of these trips, you have had the paperwork already emailed to you. Please check your email. Both trips are going to fill up fast, so get your paperwork and payment turned in as soon as you are able. Attention all future drivers out there. Driver's Ed classes will once again be offered this spring. The classes will be held April 29th through May 10th from 3.30 to 6.30 p.m. To register, just go to mypassiondrive.com and sign up. We just want to remind everyone about a couple of important dates coming up. The end of the quarter is right around the corner. Friday, March 22nd is the last day of the third quarter and will be a half day. Upper school students will be dismissed at 11.45 a.m. The same Friday, everyone should make plans to attend our last end of the quarter free pancake breakfast of the 2018-2019 school year. Pancakes will start being served at 7 a.m. and will go till 7.45 a.m. for lower school students and will continue to be served to upper school students until 8.05 a.m. The end of the third quarter is taking place <clears throat> on March 22nd. That means spring break is right around the corner as well. Spring break will take place from March 25th through March 29th with school resuming on Monday, April 1st. Let's all make it a goal to finish this quarter strong as we head into spring break. If we don't see you before then, we want to wish everyone a happy spring break. Enjoy the time off. Finally, before we wrap up the first part of our show today, we wanted to remind everyone about our Spirit Friday guidelines. We love seeing everyone's be aware every week and we love the awesome school spirit it creates. However, the holes and pants must be below the allowed skirt and short line, which is four fingers above the knee. Every, anything else must be covered with an opaque fabric from underneath. Co-op athletes, Spirit Fridays are your opportunity to wear spear wear from other schools where you co-op, such as West Lutheran, Osseo, and Providence. These other school spear wear is not in dress code at other times. Thanks everyone, enjoy your Spirit Friday later this week. Well, that'll do it for the first part of our show today. Stay tuned as Anthony and Crispy Chris are up next to MCS Sports. Welcome back everyone, I'm Tony. And I'm Crispy Chris, and this is MCA, MCA Sports, Sports and Activities. And activities. As we kick off the sports and activities portion of our show, we wanted to remind everyone about what is going on with our MCA robotics team. The gear gang, comprised of juniors and seniors, are back-to-back -back state champions and have qualified for the World Championship Tournament hosted in Detroit in April. Be sure to show them some love and support as they prep for their upcoming competition. As we wrap up Osseo news for the year, we want to give Jacob Meisner a quick shout out and say congratulations on a wonderful season. Jacob competed a couple weekends ago at the Individual State Wrestling Tournament at the XL Energy Center and performed admirably. Congrats again, Jacob, on a wonderful season. We can't wait to see what you have in store for next season. In basketball news, we would like to start off by congratulating the girls basketball team on a wonderful season. The Lady Mustangs unfortunately fell a bit short in the section semifinals against the Top Notch and Adele team, but they have nothing to hang their heads about. Thank you to our seniors, KJ, Bree, Izzy, and Keishana for your valuable leadership and dedication this season. We wish you all the best in your future endeavors. In boys basketball news, the Mustangs earned the number three seed in the Section 5 AA playoffs and were matched up in the opening round with the 14th seed international school, Eagle Ridge Academy. The Mustangs galloped past the Huskies by a score of 95 to 17, with 15 different players tallying at at least a point in the game. With the, with the win, the Mustangs advanced to the section quarter, quarterfinals this past Saturday to take on the 6th seed Providence Academy. 
The Mustangs battle hard with the Lions, but maintain control. Throughout pulling away for a 60-46 win, Justin Mason led the way for the Mustangs with 21 points, including four three-pointers. With this one, the Mustangs have now advanced to the section semifinals to take on the two seed in the tournament and the fourth ranked team in the state, the Breck Mustangs. The game will take place Wednesday evening at 7.30 at St. Michael Alberville High School. The theme for the night is white out, so please dress appropriately. We will need everyone there to help cheer our Mustangs to the section finals. So come on out, wear white, and be loud. That does it for our winter sports update. But with the winter sports season wrapping up, you know that means the spring sports season is right around the corner. In fact, our softball and baseball team and track and field teams will kicked off practice yesterday and our golf teams will kick off practice next week. We want to wish all of those teams the best as they get underway over the next couple of weeks. And we would also like to remind everyone who hasn't registered for your specific spring sport to please do so right away. Well, that does it for our show today. Once again, I'm Tony. And I'm Crispy. Thank you for watching. Be sure to tune in next week for more MCA news and updates.